I've been 3D printing and 3D modeling for about 8 months now and it already saved me a lot of money. How much? Well, let me do the math and I'll tell you later on. Today I bring you 5 unique things that improve my setup and help me save some money. Hi, welcome to Made by Jade. I got my first 3D printer back in July of last year with almost no prior knowledge of 3D modeling or 3D printing. But the idea of designing something and bringing it to life has always sparked a lot of interest in me. Whether it's woodworking, drawing, painting, and in theory 3D printing makes that a lot easier. You just design and the machine takes care of the making, right? Well, a couple of years ago that wasn't the case. Some of my college friends got into 3D printing pretty early on and I saw their struggle firsthand. But the technology has come a long way and it's gotten really easy and cheap to get a 3D printer to find awesome models online and also learn 3D modeling from scratch. Since starting this journey I've managed to design some unique things that I could not buy, solving everyday annoyances and help me save some money. Not to mention the joy of designing something printing it and realizing it works as expected, priceless. Starting with something that I cannot buy because it probably doesn't exist, which is a modified tripod head. I've had this tripod for many, many years, but I've always hated that ball head. It's not practical, it's not useful, it doesn't look good, but other than that, the tripod is great. So for all these years, I couldn't justify getting a new one. Also, I had this awesome ball head lying around that I got for about 10 euros. What if I completely disassembled this monstrosity and used the cool ball head instead? Enter 3D modeling. What I did was basically create a shape to match the tripod base on the outside and on the inside it connects to the tripod using an M4 screw. Also, to be able to mount the new ball head, I printed an adapter that converts the M4 screw to a 3 quarter inch. I'm so glad I did this. I avoided using this tripod because it was cumbersome to adjust the angle of the camera. Now these tiny water levels makes it super easy and fast to adjust it. Another item that got resurrected with 3D printing was this cheap IKEA wireless charger. I also had it for a couple of years but I had given up on it because it doesn't have magnets to align the phone in place during charging. So I would place the phone very carefully and if I looked at it the wrong way it would stop charging. This time I did not make the solution myself. I found the model during one of my 3D modeling hunts. Now this IKEA charger is in my nightstand and it's actually in use. By the way, I'll link every available model in the description below. Next one, that it's actually two, it's my laptop mount. My desk is relatively small, it's 130 per 60 centimeters and it houses two monitors, one curved 24 inch and a 27 inch from the company I work for, a laptop, a Nintendo Switch, a Mac Mini, a full-sized keyboard and a mouse and random stuff that I accumulate throughout the day and the week. It gets crammed and whenever I wanted to work on some projects, either drawing, electronics or any other thing, I needed to push everything away and the most annoying thing was the laptop. I needed to get rid of it. I thought of mounting it under the desk or behind the monitor, but I didn't like the idea of having it 24-7 with the lid closed. It could get hot and get damaged or degrade over time. And the laptop isn't mine, it's also from the company I work for, so I gotta be extra careful with it. My first idea was to create a mount for the smaller monitor to place the laptop on top of it. It worked for the time being. I designed the mount to match the VESA mount and extend to the top of the monitor. And I placed this laptop cooling base and the laptop on top of it. It worked great, but I noticed I wasn't really using the laptop's monitor because it was far away, it was difficult to see. I had to come up with a way to improve it. Since I can fully open the laptop, this way the monitor is much closer to me to be actually useful. I designed another very specific base for the VESA mount, this time to hold the PC like this. In the assembly I made sure to use a lot of padding to protect the PC. I have to mention this one because it's standard in the 3D printing community. 
which is the Gridfinity system. I've printed models from other people, I've designed my own custom bins. The Gridfinity is great. It's a standardized system of bases and bins in a grid. There are a lot of organization systems for drawers for sale, but none of them builds the customization of this one. And clamps. I've printed a lot of them. This was one of the first models I did when I started learning 3D modeling. There are better models available, but I'm still proud for making them. They still hold up and I'm still using them. Oh, bonus item. But before that, consider subscribing. This is a new channel, I don't have much to offer you at the moment, but I'm working on some very cool projects that will appear right on your YouTube feed. So I found this awesome model of a wrist rest. That's something I wanted to try to see if it helps reduce the wrist pain from spending 14 or 16 hours at a desk. Well, there is a learning curve with it, but after a week, you kind of get used to it and it's great. And it's quite small, so it goes in my bag the days I have to go to the office. To those who watch until the end, I haven't forgot about the math. Well, let's see. For the tripod, well, I could probably buy one for 50 euros. The drawer organizer, from what I saw, at least 15 euros per drawer. And a standard one, not a very customizable one. Clamps, I saw some for 10 to 15 euros each, but they were much stronger since they were made from metal. The laptop mount, I couldn't find anything like this, but an arm mount would be something like 35 euros. And the wrist rest, well, that thing costs around 40 euros. In total, almost 200 euros, only for these items. And I've printed a lot more. I hope this video brought you some ideas of random problems or annoyances that can be solved by looking into Maker World, Printables, Thingiverse, or come up with your own solutions. It's very rewarding. And what about you? Have you solved or would like to solve some random problem with a 3D model? Let me know. I always like listening to other people's problems and solutions with 3D modeling. It kind of reminds me of problems I didn't know I had. That's probably not a good thing. Wait, <laughs> let me know. And if you would like to see how I made this custom LED sign here, you can watch the video in the screen. Thanks for watching. Until next time.